Hello people, my name is Ferdy and my first video about Elementor AI went viral. Nine times as much views as normal. And in that video, I talked about what is coming with Elementor AI. And in this video, I actually have my hands on the tool. I have access to Elementor AI and I will show you what is possible with it. So I have my website over here with Elementor and I can edit this page with Elementor. And I have my title over here. We make websites that generate growth. I click over here. I can write with AI. And I can give it a certain prompt. So I can copy this text, create a new prompt and say, rewrite the title and make it more engaging and SEO friendly. Then I paste the text and I say, generate text. And there it is. I can use this text and there you go. If I don't like it, I can click over here. I can say simplify the language or make it longer or make it shorter. I can fix the spelling and the grammar. Well, right now I like this. I can remove the dot at the end. And then I have a text over here. So I go to the first text, 30 things I like in my business. And I want to rewrite this text, make it a little bit shorter. So I click on write with AI, copy this, new prompt, rewrite the text in 20 words. I paste the text, generate the text, and I can use the text. Now it's two lines, so I do the same over here. Write with AI, copy the text, new prompt, rewrite. Okay, let's see if it can work with a, with a grammar error. <laughs> okay, this is a really big error, so let's try this. Yeah, this text in 20 words. And still knows what I mean. So I'm really happy that it can uh, deal with my grammar issues. Use the text. I want to simplify the language. Use the text. Perfect. Third one. This time I want to do something else. Copy it. Make this text convert better. I use a text, okay? And now I can um, go again over here, copy it, rewrite this into 20 words. Of course, we can translate text. I did not even mention that, but it's also possible. So I can click on this text, uh, write with AI, translate it to Dutch. It's perfect. It's even better than I would write it. So that's what I like. Okay, I scroll down, click over here, write in AI. I have a new prompt, a custom prompt. So I say, write a text about why every business needs a website, needs to have a website. Generate the text. Okay, here it is. Okay. I can simplify the language. Okay. Use the text. I have a few new paragraphs. Or I can say copy. Divide this text into three paragraphs. Okay. It made it four because AI is, uh, has a certain character like, hey, if you say three, I want to do four. Okay. Okay. I don't like the attitude, but hey, it's AI. It can do whatever it wants as long as it do doesn't jump out of the computer screen. I use the text. I think it's too big. So I uh, copy the text. I can say make it shorter, but then it makes it a lot shorter. So I say new prompt, make this text. 50% shorter. Generate the text. It's a lot shorter. So I can say Command Z. And then I make the paragraphs myself. Okay. Now I copy this text. I go to the title, write with AI. I want to have a new prompt and I say, write a short title based on this text. I paste the text of this area. Voila, 
There you go. I like it. I like it a lot. What else can we do? I scroll down. Here's a call to action. Rewrite the stars. I mean, write with AI and I can copy this or I create a, a complete new prompt. Write a 20 to 30 word text inviting visitors to reach out to us so they can learn more about what we have to offer them. Generate the text. Awesome. I like it. So that's for text. Let's show you a few other things with uh, CSS. For instance, I can click over here on this title. I can go to advanced, close this and go to custom CSS. And I can write code with AI. So I click over here and I can give it a prompt. I say, make the background red when I hover over the text. Make it red in one second or make the transition one second. Let's see if it can understand what I mean. Generate code, insert, voila. Okay. Let's, let's do something else. Make the background red when hovering over the text. Let it become red in one second and add a padding of 20 in one second on hovering. Generate code. So it should become red, the background and the text should become a little bit smaller or the, the padding should become bigger. That's how it works. Look at this all written out based on what I prompted. And as you see, my prompts are not the best. Why? I'm a professional prompter. What you can do really simple. The best prompts for WordPress. Then writing prompts, 54 chat GPT, which you can also use in Elementor. So you can learn how to prompt by just going to the internet and see what you can prompt. So this is for CSS. What else can I do with CSS? I have here a few awards. I have one. I can click over here, go to advanced custom CSS code with AI. And I say, make the image jiggle when I hover over it. Generate the code. No specific. Um, uh, numbers like jiggle once per second or so I just let AI make something up and then I can adjust it later if I want to. So there it is. Maybe say hey, it should be a little bit slower and I can change it to 1.5 seconds. Or let's do something crazy. 2.5 seconds. Okay, cool. Copy. Click over here. Advanced, paste. That's what you can do. What else? Over here, something. Code with AI. Let the image move slowly when I hover over it. Generate the code. Insert. Okay, maybe. Let's do something, something crazy. Okay. I can also do something with HTML. So I search for HTML. I drag it over here. Code with AI. So now I can generate custom code, code snippet. So what I want, create a simple calculator that adds 21% on the input number. Adds with to these. Let's see if it can uh, understand what I mean. Okay, let's insert it. Publish. Let's take a look. 100. Result. Okay, I can style this with CSS, but um, and I can also go to 
the code and um, change the title, calculate taxes of 21%. So it's created for me. I like it. If I want to change the button text, I need to go to 21 somewhere where I can over here. Calculate. Publish. Okay. 200. Calculate. There you go. What else can I do in the future? You can drag an image over here. Click on AI. And then you can prompt it with keywords. And then it will generate an image for you. If you want to learn more about what's going to happen with Elementor, go to ferdicorp.com forward slash Elementor. Then go to products and go to AI. If it's not there yet, it is. Click over here and here you will see what's coming up. So create images. And what else we can do? Write it with AI. We can simplify the language. We can make it longer, shorter, fix the spelling and grammar. We can change the tone, make it friendly, make it casual, playful, professional, so I can make it um, confident. Um, boldly instead of witness impressive. Okay, it's a little bit long now. What I also can do, write with AI, translate it to Dutch or to another language. So what I want to do now, I want to change this website really quick with the use of Elementor, Element Pro and AI. So let me show you how I would do that. I go over here to the hero, to the style, uh, to the overlay and I grab this image over here. I select it. There you go. I go to the background. Uh, let me go to the settings. And now I can say over here. Right. Write a title about why it is important to bond with your dog. Write a short title. Okay, awesome. I don't need this anymore. So I click here. I go for a new prompt. And I say, give me three reasons why it is important to bond with your dog. So I copy this. I go for the first one. Remove all this stuff. Then I go for the second one and the third one. Increase the padding everywhere. So in a relative short amount of time, I changed the layout. Of course, those colors are really ugly. I should definitely do something with it, add other images. But I created text, the title. Of course, I can refine it, make it better. But uh, this is uh, a first glance on what you can do with Elementor AI. So that's it. Uh, I don't know when it will be live. Right now it's in alpha mode. It will go to beta. Then it will be open to everybody that wants to test it. We don't know anything yet about the pricing. What we do know, uh, if you have a free version of Elementor, you cannot use or create custom CSS within Elementor and no custom code. With the Pro version of Elementor, you can, but I still don't know if this will be included in Elementor Pro or if you need to pay something else outside of this. What do you think when you see this? Do you think it will be beneficial? I think it will. And it's still in the, the beginning, so it will become better and better. So I think it's amazing what I just accomplished.